What's going on guys? Today is December 20th, 2013. It's 11.30 right now and we are getting ready to go to the gym. Real quick, shout out to Gymshark. If you guys want any Gymshark apparel, uh, the link is in my description box and then use Guzman 10. So by using that link in my description box, it actually lets them know that you're going through me. So it does help the channel directly guys. So if you want to support me, support Gymshark, rock some cool gear, go ahead and uh, use that link and then Guzman 10. But about to head to the gym and uh, Someone commented, that's, that's like my quote, I say that in literally every single video. About to go to the gym, so that's my little thing I always say, but we got some NO Extreme over here. This is Cellucor's NO Extreme. One scoop. We'll do like one and a half. Like right there. Yeah. But uh, I really like this N0, guys. Honestly, um, I'm a huge fan of the Cellucor C4. Um, and the NO is a little bit, this one is a little bit stronger than the C4, believe it or not. So two scoops of this is too much for me. So I do like a scoop to a scoop and a half of the N0 and I do two scoops of C4. So if you're looking for like something a little bit stronger than the C4, but you really like the Cellucor taste and everything, go with N0. Um, I know they have like an orange flavor. This is fruit punch. And I'm not a huge fan of fruit punch, but it, this one really does taste like fruit punch. Where's the cap for this? Let me find the cap. But, um... Yeah, doesn't taste bad or anything, tastes pretty good. And if you like fruit punch, you'll obviously like it. But you guys should see like where I put my camera. So like right now I'm about to put my camera on this little plate thing. And yeah, so improvising there guys. But um gonna go for a PR today on the bench. Probably aiming for like 275, maybe for six reps, but um yeah, I'm not trying to like doubt myself or anything before even trying it, but I'm definitely not feeling too hot right now. Uh, my head kind of hurts and I'm just kind of tired. Like I, I was previously, I was supposed to go to the gym at 11 and it was like 10.45 and I was just like back in bed. I was doing some computer stuff. I was uploading a video and I just was not feeling it. I was so just lazy and just like felt like I needed to wait a little bit longer to go. So now it's 11.30 and we're going to try, but got my pre-workout and we're going to go. So. I'll see y'all in a little bit. This is y'all, right? Yeah. What's going on, YouTube? So as you saw earlier, um, we got all pumped up. We, you know, we warmed up specifically for our one bench set that we were gonna try to hit a PR, 275 for six. We were going for it, and uh, the spotter literally just like picked up the weight the, on my very first. Try. He didn't even like let me try to do it by myself. Um, so. I was so, honestly guys, I was so pissed off. Um, just cause like, this is the third time that's happened and like, I specifically tell the spotter, all right man, you know, just give me a lift off and I'm gonna get, I should be able to get five or six. I'm going, I've done five and I'm aiming for six today, so don't help me. And of course, what does he do? Fucking, sorry, pick up the weight. So, um, that in combination with all the stuff I had to do today, today I had a lot of orders um, for apparel and everything that needed to go out before 5 and it was already like 12.30. Um, I was just real stressed out. I wasn't in the mood or anything so I decided to go ahead and leave the gym. So uh, after that, I just did bench press. I did. Uh, I dropped the weight down to 225 for three sets of eight. I uh, did that. Didn't even want to call a spot over so I was so pissed off. But. Um, yeah, after that we just left, got all the work done, and now we are back at the gym. Gonna try this again. Now, obviously, I'm my, my chest is pretty tax. Well, it's not taxed, but I'm sure my strength isn't where it would have been this morning. So I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do. I'm definitely gonna do a push day and finish off my push workout. Do my overhead pressing, my triceps, probably another another chest pressing movement. Um, you know, flies and everything. And I might try bench press again. I'm not sure. We'll see. If not, I might just do incline dumbbells as my like compound pressing movement, which I probably should, but just pissed me off so much, guys. Um, but that's what we're doing. Got our box over here. 
we shipped the US orders today and we're gonna go ahead and ship the international ones tomorrow morning so that's that I'm actually finishing my pre-workout from this morning uh, I didn't finish it so this is the last little bit of it and Blake just pulled up my workout partner so I will see you guys in the gym going on YouTube today is December 21st 2013 it's about 10 in the morning and uh, four days from Christmas you can't believe it <laughs> doesn't even feel like it. it's freaking raining and like hot here in Texas but and very humid and just gross but um, yeah December 21st and I'm actually on my way to the bank slash to buy a monster energy drink because I'm this is my morning, I mean my morning coffee, but um, my morning coffee is my monster, usually. I don't like coffee, but um, yeah guys, today we are getting all our equipment delivered. Not all of it, but we're getting the full set of dumbbells, the cable crossover slash functional trainer thing for all you know the pulley stuff, and then our lat pull down. So I'm getting those three things delivered today, as well as some, I should be getting uh, about eight or 10, just 45 plates, like normal 45s. So, you know, when you guys wanna come and do your 500 pound deadlifts, you don't take every single plate in the gym, because we'll have enough. So, um, getting that, and yeah, so I, I had already picked everything out, you know, the dumbbells, lat pull down and machine thing, uh, cable thing. But uh, the thing was that they're gonna deliver it today, so I have to pay them today, so. Not looking too forward to that, but it's okay. So we're gonna get that money out and actually have to pay my uh, my construction guys. Hold on, man, I just pulled right in front of these people. Um, I have to pay my construction guys again today. They kind of do it in increments, you know, like one day you pay them X amount, then X amount, and then you're done. So um, three little payments for the week. But the only issue we've been running into guys is if you look outside, it's extremely humid. Well, I know you can't feel it, but it's rainy. And like I said, we're in Texas and it's just very, very humid. And so it's making it hard for the paint to dry. So if it was nice and sunny outside, the paint would dry real quick. But since it's very moist and everything, the paint is just taking a little bit longer than expected. So we're probably about a day or two behind on the paint. So as soon as we finish the paint, I'm gonna go ahead and get the flooring put the flooring in so because I'm moving all my equipment in today and I have no choice because the guy can today's the last day he's gonna deliver until after Christmas so I told him you know go ahead you know bring it today I'll pay you today let's get it done so I'm gonna have to pick everything up move it outside put the flooring inside the gym do that all that in one day in a few hours bring everything back inside arrange everything and then build my squat racks and build uh, you know the sleds and all that stuff so that's where we're at right now but gonna go to this this uh, bank and uh, get a monster wake up a little bit but um as far as working out today's pool day so I'm sure I'll get to that at some point today and um, other than that I have to ship out my international orders so yesterday I went to ship out all my US orders and today I'm shipping out all the international so I need to fill out the international forms today for those orders get those done and yeah, that's what we're doing guys, so I'll see y'all later. dumbbells right now I already got a good amount of them here check them out so these are the uh, Ivanko Ivanko as you guys can see but here's a lot of them bringing in more of the heavy ones over here bought some uh, extra 45s just to have bought 10 extra 45s a couple 25s got this little rack flat bench got an easy curl got a little straight bar for some bicep curls, we'll use that one probably. 
training pretty hard, as you can see here. Well, you, I don't know if you can't see, but we got uh, my, my cable crossover to unload, and then just a few little things, but I'll show you a real quick update. Got a lat pull down right here. This is a, this is the brand right here. Really top quality, guys. You even have the foot, uh, foot placement right there. Got the chrome down there. We have our dumbbell racks. We got two of them. All these 45s, 25s. We have a easy bar, lat pull down, V bar. Oh, this is a rope. We have this hold the dumbbells. Here's the heavy dumbbells, the Ivankos, um, flat bench. This is part of the functional trainer. Got all the dumbbells over here, straight bar, easy curl. Check these out, these are some lockers. So got a few sets of these in blue. One, two, I got a few in here. So you can check these out right here. Two more, gotta clean them up. It's been raining so they're all dirty and stuff. But another one right there, another one right here. Might not need them all, so I might give a few back, but it's a real cool color. It matches everything. So that's what we're doing, guys. Um, just got to get that trainer down, functional trainer, but we're just waiting on the rain to calm down a little bit. So this is what we look like right now. All right. Got the cables, guys. Still gotta hook these up though. So I'm not gonna hook it up and bolt it until I have it in the position I want it. So we're gonna leave it two separate towers uh, until we're ready to finalize the layout and everything. So we're about to start painting the blue. Let's see it. Heck yeah. Look at that blue, guys. This is a cool blue, man. Here we are, guys. 